Well, hello once again, everyone. Uh, this is Michael Israel again, and it's uh, indeed my pleasure to introduce to you Raghav Gur Guramani. Raghav is a chief technology officer for Zuper and one of the uh, founders of the company. And uh, he has some very interesting things to show you today. So, Raghav, I'm going to turn it over to you. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Michael, for the amazing intro. Good morning, everyone. I am Raga Gurumani, Chief Technology Officer at Super, and I'm thrilled to kickstart today's session on Super's developer paradise. As a technologically forward-looking company, our goal is not only to provide the best experience to our customers, but also to provide a world-class experience to our beloved developers and partners. You have been instrumental in extending the features of Super and help our customers fit Super to their business needs. And I'm more than thrilled to kickstart the session today. Striving to be the operating system for field service business, Zuper Developer Platform enables you to extend the out-of-box features of Zuper by providing rich APIs and webhooks, which are quite open for any developer to access, and SDKs to tailor to the customer's need. With our ever-growing marketplace, customers can easily click and install from over 60 plus apps in, uh, in less than a few clicks. We have also brought in integrations with low-code automation tools like Zapier, Power Automate, enabling you to connect with over 1,000 plus external applications. 85% of Zuper's customers use at least one integration with Zuper, and the App Store is every developer's dream, and it puts an all-new experience to our customers. Zuper as a platform had been growing rapidly in 2022, and to give a bit of context, we have surpassed over 8 million jobs this year, and it took us almost 24 months in the initial days of Zuper to reach 100k jobs, and it's uh, it's uh, it's quite intriguing to see uh, we are not we are reaching almost 600,000 jobs every single month. With our investments in fintech, we do process almost 25 million dollar worth of transactions across the platform, and our customers manage as much as 40,000 plus assets in Zuper. With over 18 million thousand uh, with over 18,000 plus monthly active users. Super process almost 1 million plus events every single day. And you can imagine the scale of the platform that you're looking at. Anand did give a brief peek into how Super has evolved and how we are handling almost 3 million plus API calls a month. We at Super has built a robust platform to build, launch, and scale your apps. We have made it easier than ever to build powerful integrations and custom solutions to Super users. Our powerful infrastructure takes care of scaling and security so that you don't have to worry about that and rather focus on building a delightful experience. Zuper platform provides a wide variety of apps, including private, public, and external apps suited to your needs. From building a very lightweight workflow to a customer need to rolling out a fully blown payment solution, Zuper platform has got everything covered for you to get started and roll out your app. Since inception, Zuper App Store has amassed over 65 plus apps within just two years. The App Store has opened doors for any developers to come up with great ideas. You can build a high quality app and seamlessly deliver it to thousands of Zuper users around the world in less than a few clicks. And these are some of uh, the new integrations that we have rolled out this year. And I'll be also walking you through the, some of the interesting integrations that you have brought up and also would be walking you through the new upcoming features that we are bringing up on our Zuper platform. We have rolled out some exciting and popular apps across different categories, including CRM with HubSpot, where we had Purvi give, give an amazing session a few minutes back. On consumer financing, we have rolled out a first-class integration with iStack, and with, for digital payments, we have brought in a first-class integration with Stripe. To make it easier to build apps on top of Zuper, we have also recently released our first version of Zuper command line tool, or we simply call it a CLI, which makes it easier for you to build integrations in quite seamlessly. And the best part is you can even expose your apps as webhooks so that you can connect to any external applications and need not worry about the infrastructure. And I'd like to get started with some of the integration highlights of 2022. Starting with HubSpot, with over 150,000 plus customers across the globe, HubSpot is a powerful CRM that helps you to create and deliver meaningful and delightful customer experiences. With the launch of our new integration with HubSpot, your agents or the HubSpot agents can use both HubSpot sales up and service up 
to leverage the power of Zupper to seamlessly schedule, dispatch, and manage field visits without, without the need to even leave HubSpot. The HubSpot team gave an ins insightful session sometime back on how you can empower your team with HubSpot plus Super solution. And we'll be also doing a deep dive session on HubSpot today, followed by the session. Zoho needs new, no introduction to our audience here today. With a powerful suite of applications, Zoho offers a powerful platform to manage sales, finance, and customer service. With our strong integration Zoho CRM, you can now sync your leads, deals, contact seamlessly, and dispatch field service jobs right within Zoho. We have also rolled out new integrations with Zoho products, including Zoho Books, Zoho Inventory, Zoho Projects, to help you build an integrated solution to your customers. Vijay from Super Team will be doing an exciting session on Zoho plus Super, where he'll be walking you through how Zoho plus Zuper works seamlessly to provide a delightful experience to end customers, including the entire suite of Zoho apps. Every field service business nightmare is to get paid on time. And with our new integration with Stripe, we have made it easy for you to accept not just credit card payment, but even ACH payments online or right on the field directly by your field technicians. And an interesting study shows that it, it takes almost 60 plus day to collect payment back from customers once your field tech leads a customer's place. And to set up the online payments with Stripe, all you need to do is go to Super App Store, click on Stripe, connect your account, and you're all set to accept payments. It takes less than five minutes to connect Stripe with your Super account, and you can even securely store your customer's card on file and charge the customers later for the invoices and get paid faster. We are also working on a lot more in, uh, payment solutions, including Square Authorize, which would be coming soon. In the world of buy now, pay later, field service is no different. Our fully integrated solution with BuyStack has, ma has made it easy for service business to offer financing to your end customers without even leaving Zuper. Customers get a real-time financing decision and you don't have to do any paperwork. Everything is completely digital within the Zuper app. And our integration with BuyStack not only will help you close more jobs, but increase the value of each job. A $5,000 job sounds a lot more affordable when it can be offered at $150 a month. Our integration with Vistack is already live and it's available in the US region and for any customers who process invoice between $500 to $25,000. And the best part is checking the financing decision doesn't impact the credit score of the customer. The world has seen a tremendous shift towards on-demand workforce in the last two years. With our integration field nation, one of the leading marketplace providers for contractors in the United States, you can now combine the power of on-demand workforce with Zuper to deliver some exceptional service experience. Regional availability is no longer a constraint for you to scale business. You can easily push Zuper jobs to field nation with all the relevant information in a few clicks and get it successfully executed by a skilled technician from Field Nation Marketplace. Brandon from Field Nation team and I will be doing a session on why wide demand, on why on-demand workforce is the need of the heart, and why businesses choose Field Nation for on-demand later uh, labor today. And Super Platform doesn't stop here. We have been doing some exciting stuff under the hood, and our Platform team has been working tremendously to enhance our platform and tools and bring in tools to improve the developer experience. I'm thrilled to announce that we'll be launching an all new developer experience and all new developer portal for building and publishing apps easily. I'll be also showing a quick walkthrough of our new developer portal and the CLA tool, which is going to enable any developer and partner to build apps for Zuper locally and deploy it for all Zuper customers globally. We are also rolling out Zuper SDK to customize Zuper web app. The integration not just stops at the back end. A lot of business or a lot of users need to see the data within the web app. With the SDK, you can customize Zuper web app and bring first class support experience by using the embedded apps within the Zuper interface. We'll be also giving a quick peek on how you can use the Zuper SDKs to customize the apps. And we are also rolling out a custom functions within Zuper quite soon. Any partners and developers who have worked with Zoho, Zendesk, or HubSpot ecosystem might be aware of the power of custom functions. And 
I'm quite excited to let you know that we'll be bringing support for custom functions within Zupert quite soon. I would like to start with a quick peek into the Zupert developer portal, the all new Zupert developer portal as well as how it's going to help you to build some exciting apps in less than a few clicks. Let me start with the video. So this is the all new developer portal that will be launching out quite soon, where you as a developer can sign up and sign into the developer portal using your email and password. We'll be also sharing the links of the developer portal to our partners as soon as it is rolled out. And once I'm signed in, the super developer portal makes it easier for you to list on all the apps that you that you have currently published. And we have also brought in the developer docs right within the developer portal. You can click on the new app to create an, to, you can click on the new app to, let, sorry, let me, You can click on the new app, which would open the new app wizard. Now you'll be able to create a new app in less than a few clicks. You get to choose a display name for your app. I'm going to create a Twilio app for this demo, where I will demonstrate how easy to set up an integration. And I can even run this integration locally on my laptop without the need to set up some complex tools to build the integration. I can give a unique package name to the app, which is used for any further updates in the future. You can choose a category for the app that for which this is relevant. I'm going to choose telephony video and SMS. I can give a quick overview about the app. I'm going to call it as send SMS from Twilio. You can also upload an app icon that the customers can see on the Zuper app marketplace. I'm going to choose the Twilio icon. And we have also brought in supports for screenshots by which you can create rich presentations and rich screenshots to support the app, which can also make customers easily install and make their shapes. We have brought in a lot of new configurations that can be visually set up. The first one starting with the app type. You can decide whether your app is a public app, meaning any users of Zuper or any customers of Zuper can install the app. Or you get to decide if it's a private app, in which case this app can be installed only by certain customers or a single customer whom you'd like to get this enabled. Now, this is quite useful if you are a partner working with customers who want custom solutions on top of Zuper, and you can build the app and make it as a private app so that this particular app is available only to the customer to whom you would like to give access to. We have an app applicability where you can choose whether this is an app that, that uh, can be installed by anyone in the company or only by certain users in the company. And we also have a app availability where you can decide whether this app needs to be listed on Zuper App Store. And in case if you have the integration listed in an external app store, you can also link the app so that as soon as the customer clicks on install, they will be automatically redirected to the respective app store. We have also brought in first class support for OAuth. As a developer, OAuth is a painful process you would like to set up from scratch. And Zuper platform is doing the heavy lifting where you can simply turn on OAuth and enter or enter your client ID and client secret for the apps that needs. And Zuper would take care of the entire OAuth process. You need not worry about generating the access token, refresh token, and Zuper will do the entire heavy lifting and you can rather focus on building the app logic. We have also brought in a feature where you can, where you can define if some user specific information needs to be collected. To give a little bit of background about this configuration, a lot of times, if you're making a public app, you may want to give a user or company specific configuration. For example, given I'm building a Twilio app that can be used by any Zuper customers, I would like to collect the Twilio account ID and the Twilio app password. Now I can turn on this flag and enter the respective inputs that needs to be collected. You can also paste the terms of service URL and the privacy URL for your app in case you have it hosted on a website so that the customers can access them directly from the app store. Now one of the interesting area to notice is on the module event configuration. Now we have made it easier for you to connect your app to different Zuper events. Now, I, I mentioned earlier that Zuper is processing almost 1 million plus events a day. And your app can subscribe to any event of the customer who have installed your app. Now, for example, for this Twilio app, I would like this, I would like my app to be run or to be kind of um, uh, executed whenever a new job is created. Now I can choose the module and I can choose the event type. Now Zuper has almost 500 plus events across the board, across different modules 
we have hundreds of events and you can subscribe to any of the events of the company who have installed the app. Now this opens up a lot of room. You can essentially build real-time applications based on the triggers that happen within Zooper account. Now once I have, and you can subscribe to one or multiple events, and once I have configured all these inputs, I can go ahead and save this app. And that's it. All it took me was less than five minutes to save the, uh, to create and save an app. Now, once the app has been created, I have created an app on Zooper App Store. Now, all I need to do is go and download the package. You can see a download package button, clicking on which would download the entire or the code of the app that you have just built. Now, as a developer, nothing is more powerful than getting your hands dirty into the actual code. Clicking on the download package would download the zip of the entire code of the application that Zooper has generated. Now, what I'm going to jump to is the CLA tool. Now I'm going to show you how you can use the power of the CLA tool to combine the app that we just built and how you can even run it locally. Now, once I have downloaded the app, let me switch back to my command line terminal. I'm going to jump onto my command line terminal where I'm going to install the Zooper CLA. Zooper CLA can be installed from Node Package Manager or NPM, which is one of the largest package manager in the internet. Now, any developer Will, is aware of NPM and how powerful the package manager is. And you can download the Zooper CLA package publicly from NPM. And we do publish frequent updates to this to bring in new features and also enhancements. And you can make use of this through NPM. Now to set up Zooper CLA, all I need to do is type in NPM I Zooper CLA. And it takes a few seconds for the first time for me to install the CLA. And that's it, the CLA gets installed in a few clicks. And we have brought in rich help content for the CLA. As you can see, as soon as you type in the CLA, we help you with the, the usage and the commands that you can leverage. We have five different commands that you can make use of. Apps, which would list down all the apps that you have installed locally on your laptop or on your machine. Configure, which helps you to configure the package. Now, I showed you earlier how you can configure the package on the web interface, but you can also configure the package right from your command line. And install, which enables you to install this app locally on your laptop or on the machine. Run, which would run the app locally on your, on, on your system. Now, the interesting part is, running even though you're running this app locally, you can connect your actual live Zooper account to this app. And whenever an event gets triggered on the App Store, your app on the local system would also run. Now, this is quite amazing. As a developer, you need not have to upload the app every time to the App Store to validate the app. You can simply run the app on your local system, but subscribe to the events on the actual Zooper account so that you get to see how the app would exactly run in the real world system right in front of you. And the uninstall command would uninstall the package from your laptop. Now, we have also brought in help support for each one of these commands so that it is quite easy for you to know what this particular command does. All you need to do is simply type in the command and followed by that, if you put simply hyphen hyphen help, it would give you the full information about how you can use this, what are the supported flag and some examples as well. Now, given that I have downloaded the Trilio package to my local machine, I'm going to install this package. I can type in super CLI install Twilio v2.zip. I can also choose the path to which I would like to get this app installed. I'm going to type in the my home registry. And what you can notice it is the parameters that I've configured on the GUI on the web interface. You can also enter the test account ID or the password so that even though you're testing it locally, you would like to set some tokens, etc. Now, once the package has been installed, I'm going to open this uh, the file run.js which got generated. And I'm going to simply type in a message saying hello from Twilio app just to show you how I as a developer, whenever I do some updates on my Zooper account, how this app in my local system gets triggered. And we have also rich documentation on using, on creating the app. And we'll be also doing a webinar session shortly. Now you can see as soon as I type Zooper CLI apps, the interface lists down the apps that I have currently installed on my laptop. Now as a developer, you might be working on just a single app or as a partner, you might have a lot of customers who would like to have custom solutions built. Now, the CLA tool not just allows you to build only one app at a time, but you can build any number of apps in parallel. And this 
apps command list you all the apps that are currently installed on your local laptop. Now to run the app, all I need to do is type in super CLA run and enter the path of the Twilio app. And that's it. So now that the app is running, you can notice that the local Zuper app store. So what we have made here, the, the magic under the hood, what's happening with the Super CLA tool is, it's running a lightweight, a hyper lightweight instance of the entire app store on your local laptop, which takes very few memory. And it provides the complete experience of how the actual app would run on the on an app store. And I cannot thank our platform team enough on how they have built this amazing CLA tool, which has enabled me to set up a local instance of the app store in less than 20 seconds and I'm able to run the app on my local laptop. And as soon as I click on run, you can see it generates, you can see the CLA tool generates a path for my app and also it says it runs in 3000 port. Now, of course, I am sitting in here in my office on my laptop, but the Zuper accounts, the Zuper data center is in different regions based on the customer. And how can I subscribe this particular local app to uh, the actual Zuper account? Now, if you have a, a static IP, you can directly use that or not. We would recommend you use tools like ng-rock or local tunnel where you can expose the 3000 port that the app store is running and you can copy this path. Now, I'm going to go back to the actual app store interface where you can notice there is a subscription URL. I can paste the URL that the app store just generated to this interface so that Zuper knows, okay, this is the, you are the developer who is running this app locally and any events that has been subscribed needs to be passed to your local laptop. And we also enables you to connect any test Zuper accounts. A lot of times uh, you may have a sandbox account or you may be working on an actual customer's account. Now for you to connect to the respective account, you can sign in yourself as the account user. I'm going to sign into our sandbox account. I'm going to key in my email. And I'm going to type in the password of my Zuper account, which would verify whether this account is valid and your account gets linked to your local app. Now, what I'm going to demonstrate here is I'm going to jump onto the Zuper account. Now, this is the Zuper dashboard. Pretty much all of you might have seen. And I'm going to create a new job from the Zuper web app. Here I'm on the Sandbox Zuper account and I'm going to create a new job. And if you recall, I created the Twilio app and I've subscribed this Twilio app to the new job event. So the expected behavior is whenever I create a new job in Zuper, the app in my local laptop will run. Now I have simply typed in one line saying that, hey, hello from Zuper um, or Twilio your local app, but you can use, or you can put in any, any code or any custom code that you'd like to be executed whenever a new job is created. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new job in my Zuper sandbox account. I'm going to choose the customer John Doe here. I'm going to choose an address. And I'm going to give a title of this job as test Twilio job. I can choose a category. I can use the start scheduling or simply choose a due date. And I'm going to go ahead and save this job. Now, within a, once again, you can see my local app got executed. Now, this looks quite simple or quite magical for anyone. Some An, an account which is in a different data center which is running, my local app, I'm able to run my local app with the same performance or with the same um, features of an actual app store with just a few clicks. Now this opens up a lot of window, a lot of room where you can build rich experiences locally on your machine and you can use the CLA tool to even publish the app to the app store. And you can also notice any incoming request that is coming, any events that has come in here that has run in. Here I can see the Twilio app that got triggered. But in case if you as a developer might be building multiple apps, let's say I'm building a Twilio app and I'm also building a Slack app. Now, this helps you to also see what are the apps that are running as well as what are the requests that you have received from the respective accounts. I, I, I hope uh, the developer, uh, the new CLA tool in the App Store is going to be quite helpful for you to build some amazing experiences on Zuper. And I'm more than excited to create, a, to have a separate session on deep diving on how you can build the app in real time. We'll be also having a webinar with all our developers and partners that will walk you through how you can create some rich experiences and even build an app during a session. The next topic I'd like to touch base is the new Zuper JS SDK. Our new JavaScript SDK makes it quite easy for you to consume Zuper APIs easily. As a, as a developer, uh, a lot of you may be aware that Zuper has an amazing developer portal 
where you can access all the developer APIs in less than quite easily. We are a, we are very open. We have very open APIs across all the modules. And every single time, whenever we build a particular feature, we always think developer first, because we would love to have our developers extend the features of Zupper on top of the existing ones that we built. And that's one of the reasons we have made our APIs quite open. And with the new JS SDK, we have made it quite easy for you to access the Zupper APIs without the need to create custom API calls, et cetera. Now the SDK allows you to simply connect your Zupper account. I can, I can initialize my Zupper package. And again, the Zupper SDK will be available on the NPM, Node Package Manager. And I can easily initialize the Zupper package. I can choose the region and I can enter the API key of the respective account. Now, once this is initialized, all you need to do is simply use the Zupper functions. I'm going to get the job details. All I can do is simply type in zupper.jobs.get followed by the, the job ID. And that's it. Zupper will make the API calls. It will do everything and give you the entire job object. Now, it is this is quite simple compared to I go to, um, I initialize a package. If you are in uh, a node, you might be aware you'd be using packages like Axios or in Python or in Java, you'll be using curl and other commands to pull the data. But we have made it quite simple for you to simply install the SDK. And you can use the simple functions that we offer. And these are not just CRUD operations, like a create, read, and update, and delete. We also enable you to do some interesting activities. For example, with the SDK, I can even send a notification to a user. Now, I can think of an, um, an, an interesting scenario where the customer or the business would like to trigger a push notification to the user whenever the, the submitted information in the checklist is incorrect. Now, all I need to do is I can use the Zupper CLA tool to subscribe to build an app which can subscribe to the checklist even. And I can do the validations on my code. And if the validation has failed, I can use the zupermisp.send notification. And I can decide if you'd like to send it as a push notification or an SMS or an email. And then I can choose the users who would like to get notified. It can be a single user or it can be multiple users as well. And I can simply call this function. Now, we are going to also launch a new um, uh, developer page which will detail you about the JSS DK and all the functions that you can leverage. And with the support of custom functions in the workflow, so you'd be able to run this entire um, custom code directly within the Zupra interface. Now, for some of the simple uh, custom functions, you can type in directly within the Zupra interface on the web app. And for some complex scenarios, you can build locally and then deploy to the Zupra app store. And as Anand mentioned, we have been great ecosystem partners with not just developers, but also our SaaS veterans, including HubSpot, Zendesk, Zoho. And, um, uh, you, and um, this is a testament of the Zuper platform and how Zuper is enabling uh, solutions across the board. It's not just Zuper, but Zuper plus the ecosystem partners who have made what it is today. Customers are moving away from give me one tool to do everything to give me the tool that solves my need and works well with my other line of business applications. Now, this is the path that we are seeing how the world is evolving. And we are proud that proud of all our integrations that our developers and the community has built. And we can't wait to see what you can build on Super Platform. I'd like to thank everyone for joining this session and have an amazing partner connect. And also looking forward to the forthcoming sessions, including the HubSpot, Zender, Super, and Field Nation. Thank you so much, Aaron, and I'm open to any Q&A or any feedback that you'd like to cover. Great. Uh, th there is a question on how much time does it takes to add an app to the App Store, App Marketplace. Now, as a developer, you can build uh, the apps quite quickly within your local uh, environment. And once you're done with the app, you can publish the app directly from the developer portal, which will be rolling out. And it takes less than one to two days to get approved. And the approval process is quite simple. Our platform team reviews the app to ensure that the best practices are followed and ensures that the app can be featured as well as how the customers can get exposed to the app. But ideally, we are looking at a one to two days period, working days, to get your app approved. And in case if there are any feedback or any comments, our platform team is quite open to share with you the best practices and even get on a call and ensure that you are doing it, building it the best way. In terms of skill sets, we are looking at JavaScript as a primary language. Super App Store supports JavaScript as a primary language. There isn't any proprietary language. JavaScript is quite is one of the most popular web programming languages that has been growing rapidly. 
and our Zupan app store supports JavaScript out of the box. In terms of the availability of the app store, right now we'll be opening up the app store to uh, our partners first and approved developers, but eventually we are going to open up the developer sign up across the globe. But it will be, uh, we'll be opening up the beta to all our partners who are in this call today. And we would love to hear anyone who is interested to join the beta program of your developer portal. Yes, uh, in terms of pricing, the developer portal is completely free. There is no cost associated with publishing the app or for building the app. And in terms of monetization, we, have, we, are, we, we haven't brought in monetization yet, but that's an item in our roadmap. But we're also opening a monetization program so that you as a developer can further get, uh, uh, further get incentivized on building the app and even sell the app through Zupra App Store. There's an interesting question on the HubSpot integration. Does the integration syncs attachments from HubSpot to Zupr? In the first version right now, no, but we are rolling out a new version of the HubSpot update where you will be able to automatically sync any attachments from deals as well as from uh, tickets directly to Zupr job. Yes, uh, there's an amazing question where on, um, on educating and also on uh, ramping up our partners and developers, um, is there any recorded sessions? Yes, we are. Uh, planning to set up a separate portal where we'll be publishing developer um, sessions, including recorded sessions. And we'll be also doing webinars quite frequently where all the partners and developers will be invited, where we will dig deeper into the developer experience and how you can build the apps and take few topics to even build customer and industry solutions. Will PHP be released as a SDK module? Uh, that's a great question. Right now, the first SDK version is supported by uh, is supported in Node.js or JavaScript, but we will be also soon working in support for other languages, including Python, Java, and PHP. Great. Uh, uh, Michael has asked an amazing question on uh, documentation on uh, if we have documentations for uh, the App Store. Yes, we have launched an all new developer portal it's available under developers.zupa.co let me quickly share my screen and show you it is a one-stop place for all the developers and partners to access anything with respect to developing on top of super the super developer portal lets you to access both the apis as well as sdks now we have already rolled out sdks for our mobile app where you can build custom mobile apps using super's api and the REST API gives you the complete information in, of all the APIs that are available in Super. Now, as I mentioned, whenever we build a feature, we always think of developer first. And all the APIs, anything that you can see on the Super interface can be accessed via the API and can be triggered programmatically as well. Now, this is the developer portal where we'll be also updating with the information of the CLA tool as well as the App Store. Great. Uh, there is a great question on deprecation of the APIs. Yes, as Zupr evolves as a platform, there are constant and frequent enhancements and updates that's happening on APIs. And sometimes we may want to get rid of some APIs as well. Sometimes we may notice that this API is no longer the best way and it needs to be deprecated. So uh, what we'll be doing is we will not do any sudden deprecation. It always happens in a phased out manner. And we will notify any developer who has signed up on our developer portal on the deprecation of an API so that with, of course, with any workaround as well on the new APIs or any workarounds on how you can still leverage the functionality that you have built so that your existing solutions doesn't break and you can still consume the APIs and uh, the new APIs or use the workaround to do the solution. In terms of developer communities, we do not have a, a public community right now, but we are working on opening up a developer community focused just towards developers so that we can ask uh, questions or the best practices and our, our platform team also helps you to on ensuring the best practice are followed and you build the app. We are still working on the developer community and uh, the partners team would be more than happy to keep all the partners and developers posted to uh, on the community once it has been launched. In terms of time frame for the community as well as the developer portal, the developer portal, we, we have already opened up beta for our developer portal sandbox and any interested developers can request the account from us. And in terms of the community, we are planning it sometime in the Q1 of 2023. 
but the developer portal is already in the sandbox and the beta version and you can start using that right from um, tomorrow and i'll be happy to support any partners and developers who are interested in trying it out and be happy to set up a session with them to get you started on the developer uh, get you started on the developer platform great there is a question on um, the frequency of the api versions um, um, similar to the deprecation we, uh, we do also update some of the apis frequently but these uh, are non breaking changes so that it doesn't impact the existing uh, integration that you have built up it's completely non breaking changes and in case if there are any breaking changes we do provide com complete backward compatibility and we will also keep the developers posted in case if there are some breaking changes so that uh, you are you are uh, you can be sure that uh, the things don't break and to add on to that as a part of the developer uh, portal that we are launching we will be also opening up logs to certain apps that the developers have built for example i as a developer might have built and launched or published an app now hundreds of super users may be using the app but i as a developer will have no clue if there was some error on the app or if there is unless uh, i actually get on to the system and see the error so through the developer portal we are also opening up logs to the respective apps as a developer so that you can see any logs that you have logged on your app and it's quite easy for you to debug as well in case if you hit any issues when our the super users are using the app Great. Um, hey, Mark, great. Hey, Rock, it's, it's Michael. I, I, I have a comment here. It's not a question that I don't know if you saw. It's from Wajid Z Zakar. Zakir. I'm, I'm probably mispronouncing it, so apologies if so. But he says, this is a very interesting presentation, Raghav. We look forward to leveraging this. And Wajid is from uh, Quiz Info Informatics in Dubai, I believe. So I just wanted to pass that on to you make sure you're aware of it. No, thank you so much, Michael, and thank you so much, Watchit, for the amazing feedback. And we are also looking forward to collaborate with you and the rest of the partners on how we can build some amazing experience for our customers on top of Super. And uh, there is a question on how we can even provide a real-world example of an app that adds in value on top of Super app platform. Now, I can think of thousands. As we talk to as partners, you may be talking to your customers, and you might have you might have uh, requested a lot of customizations. And one customization that I can think of is an approval request. Um, whenever a quotation value crosses $2,000, the business may want to send a notification to one of the account person. Now, of course, Zuper workflow provides that, but if there are some complex logic internally involved, you can easily set up this particular complex workflow within like five lines of code. And there are a lot of scenarios uh, uh, that can be uh, uh, built on top of the, uh, the developer platform. And I'm also doing an AMA session with all our partners and developers monthly ones, where I'd be walking you through the product roadmap, the developer roadmap, the new features that we are going to roll out, and also including industry solutions. And as, as a joint community, it's always uh, good to share experiences. And uh, we would be also walking you through some of the standard industry solutions that we have seen on how the solutions can be built on top of Super. Great. I think uh, uh, I wanted to quickly walk you through the developer platform and how Super, as a developer first company as well, has brought in a lot of features very specific to developers and how we are going to make it easier for developers to build some amazing experiences. And I'm more than thrilled on um, uh, on the upcoming sessions as well, where we'll be deep diving into HubSpot, Zendesk, Zoho, and also Field Nation shortly today. And again, thank you so much, everyone, for an amazing time. And I hope the the session was quite useful and I'm also excited to work with all of you to build some exciting experiences for our customers. Thank you so much and see you shortly for the HubSpot Zendesk and Zoho sessions.